Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today, continuing on with the 31 days of Fabooween. And this is another paid request from Leon Woodworth, who wanted me to review all of the Lake Placid films. And I'm going to be talking about Lake Placid, the final chapter. Guess what? It's not the final chapter, <laughs> because they made two more after this one. So once again, they lied. And they made more. And then it, it does have the stupid jump scare sequel bait ending. So they really lied this time around. That's what it should have been called. Lake Placid, we lied. But this is not a very good movie. Much like any of the Lake Placid sequels. Just saying. But anyway, um, if anybody would like to help to contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request such as this, you may do so down below. In the description box, there is a link to my PayPal account. No amount is too big, no amount is too small. It doesn't have to be just a movie review. It could be a TV series or a cartoon or a comic book or a video game. Um, music, random thoughts or commentaries or rants. Whatever you guys want to see me do here on the channel. That's what the paid request is set up for. So again, if you're interested, click on that link, send it in, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. And for those that have sent in paid requests before, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. It means that you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel. And you want to see me keep going. And you want to see me do some different things on here. And it does motivate me to keep making videos. So it's a win-win for everybody. So once again, thank you guys. But Lake Placid, the final chapter. Here is another in the, in the franchise that for some reason we needed a franchise of Lake Placid movies. Uh, made for the sci-fi channel and again like i said this was so, uh, apparently this was going to be the last one but again it's weird because they have the jump scare sequel bait ending where spoiler alert there's another crocodile like they have done in all the previous movies whether it's lake the original lake placid where betty white's feeding the baby crocodiles or two and three where you know, crocodiles jump out in the last frame to get somebody, or there's more baby crocodiles being fed. Either or. Um, you know, it's just kind of odd how they did that. Where, yeah, it's the final chapter, but we still have the jump ending, like we've had in all the previous movies. So, gotcha. I don't know. But, again, apparently this was supposed to be the final one, and then they made two more. But the last one... I heard is basically a remake, reboot, reimagining, whatever. I haven't gotten to that one yet. We're, we're worried. About, <laughs> I got to worry about this one before I get to those. Yeah, but apparently, whatever. I don't know. I don't really care. The plot is the same. I mean, this one, it opens up. They show that Yancey Butler survived the last movie. That's the opening scene. And then from there, it is in, you know, generic territory. Whatever. I mean, it is nice. Like, Robert Englund is in this one. He's kind of a bad guy, but it is nice to see him. Um, Elizabeth Rome is in this. She was on Angel, the first uh, two seasons of Angel. She was the cop that helped out Angel right there. Um, I wish she was on the show longer, but she ended up moving into different stuff. But it would have been nice if her character became a regular. And she was on Law and & Order and other stuff over the years, but I remember her the most from Angel. And it is nice to see Yancey Butler back. It, again, I'm fans of these people, so it is nice to see them, but I just wish it was a better movie. You know, I just wish that they made better movies instead of your generic uh, repeat of all the previous ones made for the Sci-Fi Channel. And it has all the same stuff that you've seen before. They even go as far Robert Englund gets these crocodile eggs and he basically, is, they're doing Jurassic Park 3 when they got the eggs and the pterodactyls went after them. Like, you get basically that in this movie. But, <clears throat> again, it's it, nothing that you have not seen before. But for whatever reason, again, you know, I know I keep saying that word. It's getting annoying, even from my own mouth. <laughs> they keep just making these. I don't know why. They kept making these movies. and then. Leon wanted me to also review the Anaconda films. They kept making those. 
And then they had a crossover, which we'll talk about next. But it's like, just stop already. I mean, it's bad enough that mainstream Hollywood keeps remaking everything. I mean, they just you put out the new Home Alone trailer, because that's what people really want is another Home Alone film. You only needed, honestly, one Home Alone movie, even though I like two and three. But that's just me. You know. And then you have the direct to video market because they kept making Tremors movies. You only needed, I mean, in all honesty, you only needed one Tremors film, even though I like two and three. You only needed one Lake Placid movie. So it never ends, whether it's theatrical or made for sci fi or now streaming. You know, look how many, you know, remakes that they've done on streaming that nobody has heard about. Apparently, they did a Party of Five, the TV series, a remake of that, that aired for 10 episodes. Must have been so good. And so on and so forth. And, you know, I'm I'm tired of all this. I'm really tired of Hollywood. Just whether, again, it's mainstream theatrical films or it's direct-to-video like these or now it's direct-to-streaming. You know, we're all tired of it. These movies are so generic. They're bland. They're all the again. If you've seen the original, if you've seen the first one, that's all you need to see. Out of out of Lake Placid, I mean, out of most of these franchises. And I know people are saying, "Well, what you know?" Again, you just said you like Tremors two and three. You like Home Alone two and three. At least they tried. At least they tried to do something, you know, different. At least they tried to move the plot along. Now they don't. And, you know, the problem is people keep paying to see these. Not me. I didn't watch these. I didn't pay to see these movies. It's all for free. But we're all tired of it. But anyway, that's pretty much it for Lake Placid, the final chapter. Uh, next up, I will be talking about Lake Placid versus Anacondas. So we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. As always, take care, and I will talk to you guys later. See you.